a protest at Interior Savings had activists chained to the door, stopping the company from doing business. And what they wanted was Interior Savings to stop its sponsorship of the annual Ribfest event. Well, there was some discussion that went back and forth, Interior Savings sticking to its ground, planning to continue that sponsorship, leaving the RCMP no choice but to cut the chains that linked the protesters to the building and arrest eight activists. So what happened is that about a half an hour ago I managed to mediate a meeting between the bank staff, the executives of the bank here in this group. Uh, they had a meeting in private, came out after that meeting, refused to leave and said they weren't going to be a uh, move until they were arrested. So we had no other alternatives but to conduct arrests on eight females for mischief, uh, at which time they'll be transported to the police attachment or, and likely released the uh, court dates for a later day. Interior Savings has disagreed with us essentially. They are not stopping their sponsorship of Ribfest. Um, so therefore we refuse to remove ourselves and so the police are removing us right now. They're just figuring out how to get us apart. They have unlocked us from the doors um, but we are still attached to each other so we can't actually fit into the back of the transport vehicles. Um, so we're just waiting right now for them to I guess figure out this situation. We hope that eventually they will come to their senses and realize that being on the right side is stopping sponsorship of Ribfest. Oh, look at you. Yeah, you're Will we likely be seeing more actions like what we saw today? Absolutely. We are going to continue escalating our tactics until we are taken seriously and until Interior Savings stops their sponsorship and until Ribfest is shut down. Um, this is just the beginning. We're not going to stop. So some long as animals say, are being tortured. Some people might say that an event like this kind of puts up a barrier, like it brings anger out in people and maybe doesn't foster that dialogue. We've tried to foster that dialogue for so many years. We have done peaceful street outreach. We have showed people footage of what's happening in these farms. We have tried so hard for so many years. And this is like a last resort. We don't want to be doing this. We don't want to be arrested. But unfortunately, this is what it's come to. They got arrested for mischief. That's what we'll forward to Crown Council for charge approval. But uh, at the end of the day, we'll see what Crown Council does. But. Uh, I'm quite confident the majority of these people don't have a criminal history, so that's why they'll be released at the detachment.